Before I came into the shrimp program, the only thing I knew about anemones was finding Nemo, and that was it. I didn't know how many unknown species there were. I thought like, oh, everything's already found. The world is like this, because that's what they teach you in school. I worked in the science research mentoring program here in the American Museum with Elena and Sebastian, and our project involved the description of deep sea anemones off the coast of Brazil. We have about 80 specimens. These are among the only specimens that were collected in that area of the world. So they are very important for us to start identifying. A bunch of these collections haven't been named and you're like, oh, that could be me who charts where these species have come from. I chose Luciana as my mentor for the Science Research Mentoring Program because anything that has to do with the marine biology, it's like a new discovery. So I really wanted to be a part of that. And I wanted to like also analyze specimens as well. Most of these specimens were not fixed appropriately for DNA studies. But in anemones, we do not usually describe them based only on DNA. So the first thing that we did was physical features. We measured each part of the anemone, and afterwards we looked at them and threw a camera that really zoomed into the anemone itself. Then after that, we got into an even smaller scale, and we started looking at the needy, which is the microscopic level of the anemone. And then a few weeks later, she taught us the histology method, which was embedding the, the tissue into a paraffin block and then analyzing it through a series of dyes. I think it was towards the end of September that I first met Ellen and Sebastian. Two or three months after they started, they were already doing histological sections. I expected it to be like really hard for me and like very sciencey, and I wouldn't be able to understand the jargon. But they really stressed that like it's fine if you don't know what this is. We're here to teach you that. We knew that we had something different in about January. The one that we were looking at is a type of anemone that grew on an octocoral, and that's something that hasn't really been seen before. Luciana found a bunch of anemones that it could possibly be, and we went through all of the criteria. It didn't really match any of them, so we determined that, oh, this has to be new. We basically already know that it's a new species. We just need to write the paper. We all see this person discovered this, this person discovered that. And you know, we might not be in, in one of those pages, but it gives you an idea, like, that's how those people felt. I think what they're doing here is almost like undergraduate level research. To talk about, you know, the external anatomy, to be able to talk about different muscles and be able to describe it, I think it's amazing how much they have learned. Besides discovering the new species, I've discovered myself. This project has made me feel like a real scientist. Even though I haven't even graduated high school, it really does make me feel like a part of the STEM community.